Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is another interesting review. What you see here is the Flying 3D X8, and yes, I've attached my cheap uh, $45 gimbal to it. See? Uh, what we want to do today, also I want to show you, I can actually control going up or going down with the gimbal. Uh, with this uh, quadcopter. I don't know what the issue is with the X380. Uh, the, the pitch control or the tilt control doesn't seem to to work well with the uh, this cheap gimbal on it. I think it's probably uh, designed for some type of propi proprietary input for the X380 only. But with this, the Flying 3D X8, the tilt control works very well. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. So let's go right into a flight with it. Um, I, oh heck, you know what, I, I forgot to turn on the camera before I did this. Hold on folks. Camera is recording. I'm going to stay in altitude hold mode today. I want to try altitude hold. And starting the timer, we're going for a six minute flight. And I hope you enjoy this flight. Camera's recording. We should be good to go. Starting the quadcopter. And we got a wind behind us, so we'll go upwind. Now this thing has, what's the range on this thing? 65 meters. I can easily fly this to 500 meters, but, or easily to 300 meters. So I'm going to stay within 300 meters range of myself here. Seventy-four meters. Sixty-five meters. And I'm fighting that wind to come back to me. Let's try the pitch. Lowering the pitch. Probably looking at the ground. Looking downward, bringing the pitch back up again. This seems to easily, easily um, carry that gimbal. 100 meters. I'm going to go out to about 200 meters and then let the wind blow it up here. Okay, I'm going into hover now. I'm playing with a pitch. Now this is the wind blowing it back up here. There's not much of a wind, but there is a slight wind. Looking down with the pitch control. It's 137 meters away. Bringing the pitch back up. Okay, which way am I pointed out there? It looks like right now I should be pointed toward five fingers. Let's look up at five fingers. That's Five Fingers uh, Peak, also known as a Kia Peak. I'm looking up at it. I should be looking up at it. I'm in altitude hold mode, just drifting with the wind. And then let's uh, go back to level with the pitch tilt. And now looking downward. I don't know how much downward I'm looking here, but probably looking down at the ground. Seems to be holding its position really well, 122 meters. That's my battery. Pitch roll, yeah, aged up, 10. Oh, 
Okay. Coming out of uh, that. 10.7 volts. I don't like that. Coming down now. We're at 10.7 volts, so I've been landing a little bit early. I'm not sure I charged this up properly. <laughs> I'm going to land in an altitude hold mode. Let's bring it a little closer to my position. And there we go. Welcome back. And my voltage is going up to 11.2 volts again. I don't know. I, I just uh, wanted to come back earlier there. It was saying 10.7 volts. But now it's going back up to 11.2 volts. Maybe I can get another flight out of it. Or maybe the, uh, carrying that and powering that uh, gimbal um, reduces the flight time <laughs> significantly, which is probably true. <laughs> I like to land once it gets into the 10 point uh, range, 10 volt range. So that flight was about five minutes or so. So let me disconnect the battery. Okay, power is removed from the quadcopter. That was a flight with the cheap $45 gimbal. Uh, I'm not sure how well it came out. We'll find out here in post production. I'll include the video, of course. Um, it seemed to work well, except uh, reduces, it seemed to reduce the flight time significantly, carrying the weight of this extra 200 grams here. I reached uh, into the 10.9 volt range rather quickly, um, about five minutes or so, you know, as compared to, uh, you get about 10 minutes, at least 10, 15 minutes without um, the weight of this gimbal. So that you got to keep that in mind. So this was a flight again, flying 3D X8 with the cheap $45 gimbal. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.